Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to connect our Python application to the newly created MySQL database. Now we are going to jump right in. So first off, uh, you need to go ahead and create a virtual environment and install the MySQL module. Now how can you install that? We are going to go step by step. So I'm going to say pip env install. I'm sure uh, because by so far by now you have installed that whole uh, virtual environment pip install pip env and now you can install anything that you want within that pip env we talked about that in our uh, which chapter was that it was the package python package index chapter and i'm not going to go over that again so we are just going to say pip env install uh, the module you need to install is mysql uh, dot, um, just mysql it's going to be mysql just an enter there is no dot mm -hmm. we are going to wait for it so after this this uh, mysql module is installed within our uh, virtual environment we are going to launch the virtual environment and then we are going to create a, a connection and with that connection we basically we can automatically connect to the host uh, which is where the database lives our app will send requests back and forth to this location to this host on uh, to this location on our local host what is that location we are going to create that so we have created that I'm gonna say pip and shell perfect oh uh, pip and shell let's click on that there we go so if I come here, you can see we don't have that path. Uh, one way is just go ahead and refresh. Just open and restart your uh, VS Code. The other way is just go ahead, old school, just go provide it. There we go, it is here. So it is MySQL, yep, this is it. So we have successfully installed that. I'm not gonna do anything else here. Let's clear this window. So let's import, what am I writing? Sometimes I just type gibberish. So we are going to import MySQL. Okay, MySQL. And from there, we are going to grab the connector. Connector. Let's save that. Autopip 8. Let's install Autopip 8 database. Let me just take a look at our virtual environment. Hmm. Okay, MySQL database is okay perfect so we are going to alias it as only just mysql instead of writing mysql.connector all the time we are just going to alias it perfect so now here what i'm what i would like to do is i'm going to create a function so i'm going to say def connect we haven't done functions in a while and i'm going to pass in the database name i'm going to pass this with within a try block just to make sure we we uh, catch any errors if there are now we are going to connect to our database so i'm going to say i'm not going to comment these ones out so i'm going to say that it, this uh tribal log should return mysql.connect and i'm going to pass in our information so first off we have our let me just hit that it could be there i guess there is no problem with that so first off i'm just going to provide the host where is the host? The host is going to be local host. How do you, how do you know where these information come from? Basically, there are these. So where is the host? The host is local host. Where is the port? The port is 3306. What is the user, which is uh, root? What is the password? The password is the password when uh, that you inserted when you installed this. So you have, you're gonna pass in root. And then my password is this one perfect this is my password and the database name so I'm going to say database uh, the database name is going to come from DB dot, dot name so whatever name we pass in here that is going to be the, our database that we are trying to connect to. and then I'm going to go back one step let's do the accept so we are going to say accept error as uh, er just er very chromey so I'm going to say er, perfect. 
So let's save that. Everything is working correctly. Now, what I'm going to do next is something that we have not done before, but I'm going to explain. So we are going to say if name underscore name. So if this magic method equals this module, then we want to run the following codes. What does this mean? It means that now I'm going to give you the background. Python files are called modules and they're identified by the .py file extension. A module can define functions, classes, anything you can think of. So when the Python interpreter runs a module, this name will be set to the main uh, if the module that is being run is the main program. Now, but if the code is, is being imported from another module, then the name variable will be set to that module's name. So basically what we want to say here is what we are trying to do here is we want to set this file, this three dot connecting whatever dot pi as the main program for our database. We don't want this MySQL code that we are trying to import to be our main program. We want this this file, this three dot pi file to be our main program. And that is basically what this line means. Now I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to say, I'm going to call it DB and I'm going to say connect. Uh, what is the um, database? We are going to connect to blocks. Perfect. And then let's create a cursor uh, object. So I'm going to say DB dot cursor. Perfect. And then we can fetch all the records from there as well. So if I just write the syntax or the logic, you're going to be able to understand what it is. So we're going to say execute. We have already talked about cursor.execute a lot. And I'm going to say select all columns from the topics table. Then uh, we are going to say topic records. Now, whenever we grab all the columns we are going to store them within this variable and how can we grab them of course cursor.fetch all we have talked about it right and we can print it to the console so we can say topic records and we can grab all the tasks as well first off i'm just going to do this now after we're done we are going to say db.close we're just going to close our connection so let's save that let's run this and let's see hopefully there are not there aren't going to be any errors so let me copy that part that is very long oops just close that close this python let's pass that in dot pi let's hit enter it says no module named mysql let's run pip and shell okay it is launching so it, it was deactivated for some reason and now let's run this uh, file again and it says that error again so connecting to python line 4 okay so we did install that didn't we so let's take a look at our pip file we have mysql packages so mysql is installed successfully and we have selected the mysql database this was the sqli this is the mysql we have already installed that and it says no module named that okay hmm. let me just uh select this let's take a look at that you can see that it throws an error that's a good thing it says unable to import mysql.connector Whenever, whenever I select my SQL databases, this error goes away. And uh, hmm, my SQL connector as my SQL. I've just used it once here. So let me run this program again. I'm going to say clear. Let's run this. I'm not really sure what is this. So let me save those files. I still get this error. Even though pip uh pip env shell environment already activated this is the virtual environment i could just edit it in here enter the path and this is going to select it again let's run pip env shell the environment is activated let's run our code okay it says line four where is line four this is line four, mysql.connector. 
let's say import my it's it's got my sql my sql that can oh i know what the problem is we have installed we have installed the incorrect module <laughs> i could i could do one thing i could just scrap this video and do it all over again but i'm not going to this is this is very silly so i'm just going to say pip and install my sql is not the module that we need it my sql dash connector dash python is the module that we needed so i'm just going to go ahead and install it again in the meantime i'm going to say my sql dot i'm not going to do my sql because when it is installed you're going to see that this my sql is going to pop up so i'm just going to take a sip of tea perfect <laughs> that was silly and let's uh initiate it or activate it it is already activated it's clear that let's come here uh, inside the pip file this is the module that you this is a module otherwise it would have thrown an error but this is the connector is the module that we need so if now if I say my SQL there you go dot you can see connector as my SQL all right so you need to be very careful with these kind of stuff oops oh my goodness okay so there we go let's run that there we go so we have our tasks we have link uh, is not working which has a topic id of one because it is auto increment the two is created on its own we can fetch all of the data from our cursor from our uh tasks table as well for that we should not be we should not do so many things so i'm just going to say topic and I'm gonna grab these three and I'm gonna say task and I just have to save it let's run this so link is not working my SQL server is not responding and then we have task one with the topic ID of one task two with the topic ID of one task three with the topic ID of two with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one